Hi, in this video, we'll see how to work with groupings in Tableau. Grouping means if you want to group multiple data into one package, that becomes a grouping part. Let me show you an example here. I'm using this workbook that is grouping here. In that workbook, I have picked up a data source that is Global Superstore 2017. These are the dimensions and the measures. What I've done is I have taken in the rows that is market in the columns I've taken sum of sales. Now this is the bar graph which I've got it. Now what I want is if I want to compare one city with remaining all the other cities, how do I do that? Suppose if I want to compare Europe with the combi combination of this one as Africa and Asia Pacific, if I want to combine this and if I want to compare with Europe, I need to group this above two things. There are various methods for grouping. The easiest and the best one is you select the uh, headers. I'll select the headers as Africa, control click as Asia Pacific, and then simply you can just right click on this place and select as group. Okay. If you select this as option as group, observe what will happen. Okay. And now the group by header, what it has done is Africa and Asia Pacific, this both are combined and the name of the thing is given as Africa and Asia Pacific. And now what I can do is I can compare Europe with Asia and Africa Pacific. Now you can see the both the comparison is done properly. So this is how you can group multiple fields. If I want to combine this LATAM and if I want to combine this also, what I can do is I have the option as I can just right click on this place and select as group. Otherwise, you see there's a spin icon which is given here on the drop down. If I click on this place, it says do you want to group? Do you want to insert this elements to this market group? So if I click on this market group, now if you see the name, the labels of both the rows has been combined together and the name is given as LATM and USCA. Now I can easily compare Europe with Asia and Africa and the other one is this is USCA. So I can compare all these three at one place, right? So this is how we can do the grouping from this uh, grouping by headers. So these are nothing but the headers part. Now when you do a grouping part, Okay, so what you'll do is you'll get a market group. Earlier there was only a market, but now you have got this market group. So let me show you what example. I'll just scroll on the top here. Yeah. Now if you observe here, I have a dimension named as market and I have a dimension named as market group. So what I'll do is if I remove this market group and if I bring this market, observe these are the original data which I had. Now when you combine this into a group, I'll remove this. I'll bring this market group here. When you combine the data in this chart or any place that will be created as a separate dimensions and this will be stored here. Okay. So this is a new market group, which I have, right? So this is how we can do with the help of headers. There are many examples by which you can do, which you can grouping. So now this time, what I'll do is I'll do a grouping by data window. This is my data window, which is given here. Now in this place, if you see, I have subcategory and the sum of sales, these are the subcategories. What I want to do is I want to combine five categories into one group and I'll be comparing with the other elements. Now, what are those five categories? Let me see that. Let's say accessories, appliances, art, binders and bookcases. This five accessories I want to combine with the help of this headers. I can combine. OK, I'll show you one more method. How do you combine in one group itself? So I'll scroll down till I get this subcategory because this is belonging to subcategory. I'll click on this subcategory drop down and here you'll see an option named as create calculated field, create group, create set and parameter. So here I'll click on this create group and I'll get a dialog box here. Now create group for a subcategory. The name of the group will be given as subcategory and inside bracket it will be given as group. What I want is I want to insert five elements into a particular group. So you need to select all the five elements by selecting control click like this. If you want some more elements, you can select like this. Control click. Okay. After you select the elements, you have to click on this group button. But if, if you do not select anything, okay, if you do not select anything, this will be disabled. Right now, since I'm selecting few options here, I'm selecting six different categories. And if I click on this group button, okay, if I click on this group button, the name of the group will be by default combination of all the names. If you see accessories, comma appliances, comma art and other subcategories. So what I need to do is I have tried as small office appliances. Some name you can give it randomly and small office appliances and I've clicked outside. 
So now this, if you see this elements will be called as small office appliances. Now at any point of time, if you think this group should be added some more elements. So what you can do is you can select this options, like say envelopes and you can click on this drop down and you can select as small office appliances and that envelopes will go here. Select this as copiers, click on this drop down, click on this small. You see the copiers went up above. So this way you can add the extra elements in case if you have forgotten those elements, right? And I'll just click on apply, click on OK. Remember the name of the group or name of the field dimension will become as subcategory in brackets group. So I'll click on OK. All right. So right now here, I don't have subcategory group. I have only subcategory. So I'll remove this subcategory and from here I'll pick up and drop it as subcategory group. So if you observe the all elements are given here and small office appliances, the cost of small office appliances is highest as compared to other appliances. If you see small office appliances. Now, so this is how you can work with this uh, data window. You can create a group from this data window. At any point of time, if you think you want to edit the group, you can simply click on this drop down okay, on this place and you can select the option as edit group. So in this edit group, if you want, you can just maximize, you know, how to add the options at this place. Okay. If you want to find some members from this group, you can just type here and type as labels, labels, click on find all. Okay. And if you see my cursor has come to that particular place labels itself and I'll just click on cancel and done. So this is how we can work with data window, how we can group it, right? Let's see the next part related to grouping. If you want to create hierarchies with respect to groups, what are these hierarchies here? Now, in this place, if I scroll here, I have created a hierarchy that is products, which consists of category and subcategory. But I have recently created a, that is subcategory, a group wise. What if I want to use that into my hierarchy? So what I can do is I can simply drag this option subcategory group and I can drag and drop it at this place. I can drop it at this place, right? So now I have category, subcategory and subcategory group. So if I want, I can just remove this option outside. And now I have just two elements. One is category, subcategory group. So what will happen is if I expand this, if I expand this option and here, if you observe, I have subcategory, which is a group wise. So if you see, there's a small office appliances, which comes under technology part, right? So I can just compare this one, small application, small office, small office. So the value or the cost of those appliances is highest as compared to other elements in all the categories part, right? So this way you can analyze the data itself. So that is related to hierarchies. If you want, if you do not want, you can simply drag out like this and the hierarchy will be removed from this place. Now, if you want to delete this one, you simply can click on this drop down and you can choose this option as delete part and it would be deleted here. If I click on this delete part, you have selected one field in the view to delete. This will affect the following. One is the data window and second is hierarchies. I'll say yes, yes, delete it from my place. Okay. So it has been gone from the places wherever I have used it. You can also do a grouping from this visual analytic itself. So if there's some graphs, some chart, some scattered chart, you can group the elements into one part. Okay. For example, I have se selected as shipping cost and average profit in the rows and columns respectively. Also, if you see, I have found the subcategory that are in the colors part. So whatever the subcategories are being displayed here, this color, the blue color resembles these are subcategories and you can see the colors which are given. Now, as I said, these are different categories. I don't want these categories. I want to group it at one place. Okay. So I can just select by using my mouse like this on the screen. I have selected those options. And if you see those are grayed out, these are selected. What I can do is I can just click on this menu bar here itself on the toolbar. And in the drop down, if you see, you want to add this elements into group, which group you want to add that is subcategory. I want to create a category subcategory group. So selected that and if you observe what has happened is in this place, I have a subcategory group which says appliances and there are some others which are given here. So there are only two categories. One is this one and second is this option here. Okay. So if I click on this drop down now, if I select this option and if I click on this drop down now, now it says subcategory group, the elements are divided into two different parts itself, right? So these are with the help of visual analytical group itself, you can do the grouping from the charts part itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we group the elements with the help of headers, 
with the help of this data window you can also create hierarchies with the grouping part and also with the visual analytics i hope you have understood that's all for this video